Another potential benefit of not completely locking their country down is that the Swedish economy looks to be less damaged than other nations. Obviously, every country in the world is going to be hurt economically due to COVID-19, and Sweden is no different, particularly as Sweden relies heavily on exports with global demand dropping in 2020. Additionally, Swedes have not been travelling as much as before, with restaurants and hotels hurt financially due to this. Yet, even after saying all this, Sweden's economy was hit less hard by COVID-19 compared to other European Union countries over the second quarter. Between April and June of this year, Sweden's economy shrank 8.6%, compared to the average EU economy contracting by 11.9%. Spain's economy suffered even more, contracting by 18.5% in the same period, while Italy saw 13.8% drop. In fact, because the Swedish economy grew by 0.1% in the first quarter of this year, the country is not even in a recession yet. It is expected, however, that the Swedish economy will shrink by around 5% this year, and the unemployment rate remains high at 9%.